Als derjenige, der auf dem Pferd sitzt, ist der Reiter der Geist, der, der den Körper führt. Sein Streben verkörpert die Reise der Seele durch die Welt mit ihren Versuchungen, Hindernissen, Prüfungen und Beweisen des Charakters und ihrer Entwicklung zur Vollkommenheit. Der grüne Reiter ist entweder der neu getaufte oder der Kandidat der Initiation. Oder er verkörpert in Riesengestalt die Kräfte der Natur und manchmal auch den Tod. BMW has uh, designed this study um, for two reasons. One is that the Concorso d'Eleganza in Villa d'Este has always been a competition between uh, car designers. Uh, car design studios in the past used to design a study especially for this Concorso and we wanted to revive that tradition. The other reason why we have uh, designed this uh, concept is that this year, uh, it's 30 years ago, that BMW launched the M1 and with this concept we also want to celebrate that occasion. Okay. This car is not uh, scheduled to go in serious production. Uh, the goal of this concept study is really uh, celebrating our rich heritage and showing also how uh, BMW Design wants to uh, work with that tradition. Uh, we love it, we want to celebrate it, but I think in the concept study you also see many elements that are modern uh, and that can take us into uh, the design future. And uh, so this uh, concept serves also as an inspiration for every other project that we do. Uh, in this study uh, we mixed uh, typical M1 uh, character elements and also some design features that uh, belong to our current design language or our future design language. Of course the proportions are very typical to the M1, very wide, very low. Uh, and then uh, when you look at the front end graphic uh, with this very narrow slot here, that is also something that comes from the original M1. Uh, the original M1 had pop-up headlamps and that we would not do in the future for safety reasons but what we can do in the future is actually make the headlamps come out of this very narrow slot because with LED technology that would be possible. Uh, another element that comes actually from the future uh, are these uh, blades uh, and the function would be an aerodynamic function. Uh, this is something that we have learned actually from our engagement in Formula One. Uh, we now know a lot more about aerodynamics than 30 years ago when BMW first built the M1. In side view, of course, the proportions uh, talk about speed. Uh, you see also sharp lines. Sharp lines belong to BMW design because they are an expression of engineering precision. The wheels, uh, we believe, are interesting. They are a reference to the original M1. The M1 was really the first uh, sports car with uh, mainly closed wheel designs. Uh, of course, we have added a little bit more sculpture. And the same goes for this whole area here. Uh, this is where the engine would sit in a mid-engine car and you see all the lines pick up speed towards the rear uh, and then when we look at uh, the rear view uh, and of a mid-engine car of course the rear view is important it is what people would see most when they uh, are being overtaken by this car the rear end uh, of this car should exude power and strength and I believe that it does so uh, by this very strong shoulder um, and uh, actually here in the rear you see also one element that we took from the original M1. 
The original M1 was the only car uh, in the BMW lineup that has two logos instead of one in the center. And of course, we wanted to do that on this study as well. And then when you look at the uh, tail lamps, you'll see that they're very, very narrow, very, very flat. And that too uh, can be made possible in the future through LED technology.